So Rochelle, one of the questions I've been dying to ask you, and 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 I think so many people are interested in this question, and and to have somebody of of your standard, you know, your uh, success in this industry really really come forth and and give us the the deliver this is really um, a unique opportunity. What is the state of healthcare right now? I mean, is it is I'm I'm seeing it from afar. I've got I've got five or six clients in this space. And and is it? It just seems so disorganized and so myopic. I, am I crazy? Is that what you're seeing here? From an upper rate, you know what? Where this craziness, this opportunity. Right. Okay, where this change, this opportunity, mm -hmm. and um, there are there is so much opportunity right now in my space in operations and finance for physician practices and healthcare businesses for the physicians to um, maximize their revenue. We're seeing a big shift out of, I believe, fear, mm -hmm. that a lot of physicians are fearful of the future and are basically selling themselves to the hospitals and becoming employees of the hospitals. Mm -hmm. And this happened many, many years ago. The pendulum has swung back again. And like you said, I've been in healthcare for a long time. Well, I would say about 15 years ago, don't quote me on the actual years, right. but the hospitals um, were buying up practices and physician businesses at that time. Mm -hmm. And what ended up happening was, and obviously it's the doctors that fill the beds. So if they can own the doctors, mm -hmm. they can guarantee the beds in the hospital are filled. But you can't, private practice is a bunch of physicians who basically are entrepreneurs in their own right, even though they don't think they're business people. Right. They really are. And they are self-motivated. Now, when you take them out of that arena and put them in the hospital, they're not motivated to see 30 patients a day. They're not motivated to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning for a base pay salary. And what I believe is going to happen three to five years down the road is that the hospitals are not going to make their financial bottom line based upon physician revenue and generation of income, based upon what they're paying the physician and the volume of patients. Right. And what's going to happen is those physicians who have given up their practices, who aren't superstar performers, who have also signed non-competes, mm -hmm. are going to be terminated from those hospitals. And then where are they going to go? Because they signed a non-compete. Right. So the physicians need to take stock. I'm not saying that maybe they shouldn't um, go work for the hospitals. Right. But they need to look at the type of relationship that they're getting into with the hospital. I mean, from what, is it, not only from a standpoint, but from a future career standpoint. Because some of these guys are coming straight out of school. Thank you.